this edition of the Heat Sinks Arcade. I'm your fantabulous host. And about, this is uh, Monday, March 2nd, 2015. It's about 10 till 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. About 3 o'clock this afternoon, I was at work. And I was like, oh, what the hell? Let's see what's going on at scottgames.com. Animation chain. Here's Blue Boy with all the crimping and shit, right? With the number 10 in it. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. So I get home. About 6 o'clock, I noticed uh, Markiplier's already posted a, uh, a walkthrough. Okay, well, I figured he probably made a test of it, so, okay, no big deal. About 10 till 7, pop on Steam, it's for sale. So here we are, kids, we are going to play Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And I have not seen the Markiplier walkthrough, so I don't know what the hell to expect. I don't know what the dynamic of this uh, version is. It's, it's, this is going to be like other Five Nights at Freddy's games. That's one twitchy motherfucker. Otherwise known as my name is Springcraft, supposedly. We'll find out. Let the games begin. Fazbear's Fight the Horn Attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off. With a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring active roles in decades old pizzeria. Oh boy. Okay, that's already terrifying. Okay, let's see who answers. I'm curious. Phone guy? Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting another this time. Another night I've already been we here? We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just so update what? you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way here? toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll this make you feel really is a creepy place to I be think. making out at. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, Hi. and a foxy Hello, head, boy. which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another foxy crappy head. cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically Ooh, just, okay, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. The uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool something by next Freddy week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around Foxies, things. Oh. Light <laughs> uh, but you know, like I, I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. An extra room uh, that was boarded up. For now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far you left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. Okay. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I, I wasn't joking original, about right? the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. <laughs> The most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, what the keep hell? an eye on things, like, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Get in the air or something? Okay, play audio. Hi. Okay, okay, so when I play, press play audio, we hear Balloon Boy. Okay, so does he actually make an appearance, or is that part of the, uh... I'm sorry, but some of this stuff's flat out creepy. Okay, so throw that down, let's take a look around. There's the box of crap. There's part of a Freddy costume. I can't tell if that's actually supposed to be like the Golden Freddy costume, and of course the box of uh, leftover stuff from the toy animatronics, and of course the fan. I like how uh, Bonnie's got like buck teeth. That's that's fucking awesome. Okay, I probably need to be. Like, Hello. Hello. I 
you can't tell if that's Bonnie. I think that's Bonnie back there. Also, is a light fixture. That's kind of. Whoa! What was that? Did I see something. Okay, what's the purpose of the balloon boy? What's the purpose of balloon boy laughing? I don't get it. Well, okay, I got through night one. Wow, that was tough. What? At least there's a mini game. Okay, WA. <laughs> Okay, where am I going here, guys? Okay, well, obviously I'm Freddy and I'm wondering around. Ooh, Kick has even got a cupcake. Okay, now, see, this is what makes no sense because look at Bonnie. Bonnie's blue. Bonnie was purple, except for Toy Bonnie. So, I don't know. Is that supposed to be Toy Bonnie? Follow me. Purple Freddy, this can't be good. I got a bad feeling this means purple guy. Come with, follow me. What the hell? Oh no, that must be that weird boarded up room they were talking about. Those rats? Oh god, we got an error. Okay, so the purple guy just, uh, dismembered Freddy. Or something. Hello? Hello? Where's the phone at? Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage Hello? audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like totally have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I had an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. Hi. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, real one. Well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Okay. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello. Hello, hello. There it is. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much hello. needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. I see. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention suit. while learning how to operate these two as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn Hi. and walk towards sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. Change the animatronic to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the Hi. spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. I would rather not be. Hello? Okay, so if I understood that correctly, there were certain animatronics that you could... The endoskeleton, like... Stayed! Oh god, oh god, I can't play audio. This is not good, this is not good. This is not good. Holy shit. This is not good. Oh, hell no. Rebooted. So basically, you can sit there and compact the endoskeleton and crawl in the son of a bitch. So maybe it's true. Maybe purple guy or the other security guard or the other phone guy or whatever the fuck he was. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Okay, so some of the theories out there sounds like they were. Hi. Okay, I'm starting to get this feeling. That's just a feeling. About the audio. Okay, the audio I think is the key to it. You have to hit it every so often. Hello? In order to keep the, the animatronic from hell away from you. <laughs> Holy 
fucking shit. Hi. Oh, fuck it, hey. Now there's a video error. Go fucking figure. I'm a fat boy. Scares like that are not good for me. I'm gonna die one of these days playing one of these games for you people. Okay, camera system's back online. Okay, let's find out where the fuck uh, spring trap is. Hi. Okay, so I'm starting to think too that, whoa. Okay, no, that was something else. Where's he at? So I'm thinking every now and then it might be a good idea to also reboot the ventilation system because that was one hell of a motherfucking jump scare hallucination. So I'm starting to wonder if Balloon Boy actually Hello. exists. And it's just another hallucination such as Golden Freddy and etc. etc. Okay, I'm not finding spring trap or whatever the famous movie is. Okay, let's reboot the ventilation system again because that was just. I'm serious. I'm still like in fucking panic mode. The fucking adrenaline is absolutely dumping in my fucking body right now, and it's not. Cute. Okay, so I'm starting to think that the, that the best thing may be to play the audio as far away from you as possible. It seems like Cam's ten and four are Hello? Hello? probably the furthest away. I think we're going to make it to 6 a.m. and that's where we're going to stop for this episode because I'm serious. I, I damn near had... Fuck, audio oh, yeah, God damn it. 5 fucking a.m. It's like fuck, 5 a.m. and I'm trying to get this shit over with for the night. Oh, hi! Hello? Ain't you pretty? Why were there human organs inside of that? Yeah! It all is making sense now. It looks like uh, somebody uh, compressed the animatronic and crawled in. What the hell? Looks like the same minigame before. Oh, now I'm Blue Bonnie, or possibly Toy Bonnie, though I, I doubt it. Follow me. Why do I have a bad idea what's fixing to happen? I'm feeling you can't run. Oh, yeah. Dismembered, uh, Freddy. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I mean, my heart is still racing. That was something else. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll do night three on the next episode. Heat sinks. I'm going to bitch about winter driving. And um, one uh, former big YouTube celebrity, boy, he's come, he's come, he's come a hard time because he's having to do compilations now with his old shows. What the shit is that? Anyways, guys, appreciate you taking a look at what's going on with Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Rate, comment, subscribe, click the button. It's somewhere around here, and as always, thanks for watching.